I like cards. I like cards. I like cards. Yes, I like cards. Possibly one of the dumbest intros I've ever done. But whatever comes into my empty melon, that's what I go with when I start making a video. Having a pretty good day so far. I got a, a fat, low hanging sack in the mail today from Mr. 92 93 95 Cowboys. Before I get to that, just had a little conversation. 20 30 minutes ago with my son we talked about personal responsibility and personal accountability in life in general when you either say things or do things that are wrong and how the consequences of those actions can often be avoided or significantly reduced if you just do what's right and admit you said something wrong or admit you did something wrong and move forward and either say you're sorry or do something to fix it. One of those strong principles that I really really feel can impact the outcome of certain situations in any avenue of your life and it applies to some of the stuff we see going on YouTube too. So in a smaller microcosm of that <clears throat> you know we talk about people that just disappear and not that I'm going to point a finger at Steve, but Steve disappeared for a little while. You heard me talk about the other day, one of the things I believe in is giving a second chance. Okay, so for whatever reason, I'm not going to judge him. Steve went away for a number of months and nobody knew what was going on. Steve came back and he, to a man, he uh, privately handled this with me and said, well, you know why he went away, apologized for it, for just dropping off the face of the earth, and wants to come back with renewed enthusiasm and join part of what's going on. And you know what? I respect that. When somebody can have the balls and be man enough to say, I made a mistake, that's what's going to earn you respect. Now, if it happens again, then you go away and you don't come back. But I don't believe that's going to be the case. Steve is a good guy. Got to know him over uh, the past year. Got to meet him in Baltimore. And he's a fantastic guy. Great sense of humor. Great family man. His wife, April, is a wonderful gal. Uh, I can't say enough things about him. For whatever went on in his life that kept him away, I don't care. The only thing that's important is that there was no communication and he covered off on that. So Steve, thank you very much for stepping up and being a man about it. And uh, I want to ask everybody to give Steve a chance to be a friend and to be uh, someone to trade with or get to know him here. You know, I'm going to put his link down below there and um, well worth the time to get to know Steve Lamb. He's a top notch guy and he's not dead. That being said, let's move on. I don't need to sit here and preach on every damn video that I do. But you guys know that I have a, a strong set of principles that I believe in that work in life. And I'm not saying it's the best way, and I'm not saying it's the only way to go. I'm just saying that it's the way that I think it should be. Certain, some of these principles are the things that I think affect life in a positive way and make you a better person. You know. If you're getting tired of this stuff, we'll just cut it off right now and move on to cars because I know I, I yammer on. I got this really cool card the other day. <clears throat> this is going to go into my for trade or for sale pile. I don't want to field any offers on it right now because after my contest is done, I'm going to make a big video with a lot of stuff that I have in this drawer right here that's going to go up for trade or sale. I really want to do trades, but um, you know I'll sell some of the stuff too. if a trade can't be worked out. I'm going to ask for very specific things that are relevant to my PCs and you're going to need to come at me pretty strong with some stuff because I got a lot of really good cards in that drawer that I'm going to be showing. But anyways, this card I had to bid on because it's two guys that I think were really good at their respective roles and well I'm just going to show the card. It's a dual-sided patch from 2001 Titanium. 
uh, of Obafemi Ayamadeho and of Chris Fuamatu Maafala. And I think it's an awesome card. You got a three color patch there for Ayamadeho. And you have part of the nameplate for Fuamatu Maafala. Very cool card. I may even consider keeping that just because it's two guys you don't see anything out there for those guys. And I know they were very popular within the collecting community and within their own team's fan base. So uh, I'm thrilled to have that card. So I am now going to fondle Steve's sack. Actually, it's my sack now. And uh, empty the contents all over my table. I'm going to empty the contents of my sack all over my table. And again, that's what kind of guy he is. He sent a private note. I respect that, Steve. Thank you so much for handling this in the way you have. Michael, the next installment to our lifelong friendship. I love you, man. 80% homo. That is impressive. I better start brushing up on some of my homo skills because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like at this moment I can't bring it, but there's something inside of me with a little bit of coercion. I don't know, maybe from Edouard or someone else, I, I might be able to get to 80% because right now I'm only at about 37%, but we got a brick here. Sevens flap on top for easy access. I wish, uh, I wish every pair of pants that a woman wears had the sevens flap on it for easy access. That would be awesome. Holy crap. Uh, man, Steve, I don't know why you sent these to me, man. I don't recall, I mean, I know it's been a while, I don't recall sending you anything. Maybe this is a just because, but my God, holy nuts. I take this out of the, it's got tape on it. He knows damn well that I don't have this card too because he follows uh, my photo bucket link right down there for anyone who wants to follow the cards that I've been putting on photo bucket. This is an outstanding card. Leaf Rookies and Stars from 09. Dual Auto, Red Ink, Black Ink, Matt Ryan, Harry Douglas. Man, that card's diseased. Steve, that's awesome, man. You did not need to do that. And it's funny, Steve's a chemist, and he sends me a card that says Team Chemistry. <laughs> awesome. I don't, know, I don't know if you did that on purpose, but just a little side thing that I figured out there. And this one, off the hook, man. I don't know what got, got into you to do this. Un effing real. I wanted to say the other word, but Mini Boogs right outside the door. Tops Unique 2009. This is Authentic Game Wear Jersey Tag. Matt Ryan Autograph. Thought he had a bigger chest than 42. What a pansy. And look at the number. All I have to say to that is Yes! That is awesome! <laughs> They're out there laughing at me. Damn! Snap, man. That is unbelievable. I don't know what to say other than thank you, man. You came back strong. You and I have talked offline. This has nothing to do with the cards. You did not need to send me cards like that. We both know and understand that. I'm going to read this after I'm done making the video. Thank you very, very much. And most importantly, welcome back. Glad to have you back. And I uh, hope you can work it out where you and April can make it to Chicago uh, for the Nationals. Because, again, I'm looking forward to having a great time there. And I strongly recommend you guys uh, go check him out. Consider giving him a sub. It's well worth it. He's a great guy. And uh, one of these guys that shows that he's he really gets it. He understands to a man he made a mistake and he corrected it. He made good on it. That being said for today, I guess that's it. So uh, you know what comes at the end here. Do good things. See you soon.